Here is the answer for the day one bell work. Write the chemical formula for the compound made from ions of the given elements. Question A, if you make a compound from sodium and chloride, what would be the formula? It would be NaCl, one particle of sodium to one particle of chloride. Here's how I got that answer. Sodium makes an ion with a positive one charge. Chloride is an ion with a negative one charge. When positive and negative ions bond together, the charges have to cancel out and create a neutral compound. That means you have to have an equal amount of positive charge as negative charge. Positive one plus negative one adds up to zero, a neutral compound, and so the formula just requires one sodium and one chloride. Question B, potassium and nitrogen. This time the formula is K3N. Here's why. Potassium is in group one and makes positive one ions. Nitrogen is in group 5A, so the nitride ion has a negative three charge. When the positives and the negatives bond together, they have to create a neutral compound. You have to have an equal amount of positive as negative charge. Well, positive one plus negative three doesn't add up to a neutral compound. However, if you had three positive ones, then that would balance with a negative three. So you need to have three potassium ions for every one nitride ion. And that's shown by putting a subscript of three after the capital K, K3N. Question C, aluminum and oxygen. The formula is Al2O3. Here's the reason why. Aluminum is in group 3A, so its ion has a positive three charge. Oxygen makes the oxide ion with a negative two charge. Positive three and negative two are not going to add together to make a neutral compound. However, if we had two aluminums, then positive three times two is positive six. And if we had three oxides, then three times negative two is negative six. And those do add together to create a neutral compound. We have to have two aluminum ions for every three oxide ions. That's shown by writing Al2O3. Question D, barium and fluorine. The answer is BAF2. Here's the reason why. Barium is in group 2A, so it makes a positive two ion. Fluorine is in group 7A, so the fluoride ion has a negative one charge. Positive two plus negative one does not add up to a neutral compound. However, if we had two of the fluorides, then two times negative one is negative two, and that would balance out with positive two. So to show that there's two fluorides, you put a two as a subscript on the F. Finally, question E, strontium and sulfur. Strontium is in group 2A, it makes a positive two ion. Sulfur is in group 6A, so the sulfide ion has a negative two charge. When you add those together, that does make a neutral compound because positive two plus negative two adds to zero. It only takes one of each to make a balanced neutral compound. So the answer is SRS. When subscripts are just ones, we don't actually write the ones in there. 